Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ken Chrysler and welcome to another episode of FLH. And I knew it. I knew it. Um, guys, let me remind you what's happened the past couple weeks. Uh, there might be a battle at Summer SummerSlam. And if you guys haven't watched the channel, I mean, you all would know that Mr. Black treats Blue Neck and Gory X and Malcolm Monroe as if uh, they're his kids. Um, so he has requested AJ Smith to have them suspended in order for them not to be in, in the battle. Uh, so that way they'll be safe. Um, AJ Smith said that if, uh, well, Mr. Black warned Blue Neck and his brother, if they showed up at FLH, they would have to be escorted out. Guess who showed up tonight? First thing first. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to be good. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the Blue Neck. And last week, I was told if I came to FLH, I would be dragged out. That's what they told me. They won't let me participate in SummerSlam, even though I'm the greatest talent on this roster. Well, AJ Smith, why don't you all find me somebody to drag me out of here? Because nobody is going to drag me or my brother out of here. We're going to fight at SummerSlam alongside of Mr. Black and company. None of you all can tell me what to do. And the lights just went out. And look here! Madman Mars is back! Maniac Cop! Attacking Blue Neck and his brother! Oh my goodness! Madman Mars is here! You can't Get your do hands this to me or my brother, man! You can't, you can't do this to me! You can't escort me off FLH property! You can't escort me out of FLH either! <laughs> We won't go. I will make you all pay for this. You will hear from my lawyers. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Blue Neck and his brother Gordy Axe have been escorted off by Madman Mars and the Maniac Cop. Oh my goodness. And guys, if you haven't heard, I have made the announcement. Because Clockwork Orange is not leaving. And like Mr. Black said, they don't belong here. So come SummerSlam, me and Noose and Baratheon will take them on for the tag titles. You heard it right. It won't be these two, however. Those two are the... Uh, it will be the big guy and Alex uh, versus me and Noose at SummerSlam. Uh, but tonight, uh, of course, Curious George will face Nemesis at SummerSlam. That should be a good matchup. Um, and Mentally Sinister's in the mix helping Newsom out. I'm going to stay on commentary tonight because, you know, I got to I gotta keep my strength up. You know, I got to, I can't waste my energy. SummerSlam's coming up. So, so yeah, Mentally's going to step in. He's the Cruiserweight champion anyway, even though he took it from Newsom. Uh, but here comes a member of the Clockwork Orange. And these guys, they're menaces. Uh, they are, uh... Degenerates would be the best word to describe them. And come uh, SummerSlam, the Milk Gang is going to be spoiled. Uh, because Ken and Newson are coming. So, yeah, I call them the Milk Gang. Because they drink milk a lot, like crazy. They go to milk bars. There's apparently milk bars. I didn't even know that until I watched that movie. I, I don't even know if there is milk bars. You guys could tell me. Um... The movie's in the UK, so maybe maybe there are milk bars in the UK. I, I'm not for sure. And uh-oh, here comes Curious George. This is a elimination match. It will be a knockout match here tonight. And we're about to see what happens here. I mean, oh, George just ate the pole. Oh, man. Oh, 
And I know these two members of Clockwork. I think they're uh, George and Pete. Uh, I don't know which one's which. I don't care. Uh-oh. Mentally Sinister getting pounded on now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Look at this. And Mentally Sinister are going to get triple power bomb by Nemesis and the Clockwork. I, oh no, not again. Oh, come on. Oh, another triple power bomb here. Again. Oh, man. How many triple power bombs you guys got in that arsenal? <laughs> and uh oh, here comes Mentally. Oh, Miss is there. Big Miss. Oh, look, oh man. Mentally's bleeding now. And he gets the tag to Newsom Barafi. Here comes my boy Newsom. Oh man, doesn't even get one shot there. We saw Mr. Black and Freak Nation take down Clockwork. I, oh my goodness, again! Oh, they're good with Nemesis. At least these two are. And... So we're going to be, uh, me and Newsom are going to be fighting the other two, which I consider to be stronger. So. Hey guys, tonight our main event's going to be official. Crimson Ninja versus Gaia Akane. Finally, the ninja showdown that we have been waiting for. AJ Smith wants it to happen before SummerSlam. So not only they can recuperate after this match is over for a week, uh, but also because he wants them to put their differences aside. And the only way to do that is to give them the fight that they want. So that's why he's decided to do that. And look at Newsom. Oh, no. Look here. Oh, yes. Here we go. And a little bit of revenge here on the clockwork. Mentally, yes. I love it. Let's go. And mentally drops, it does a nice drop kick there. And yes, let's return him the favor. Get him, boys. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, what a power bomb. Oh, and there's George. And oh 
Oh, no. They got the hot tag in. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, man. And George misses barely. Um, wasn't a good time. Uh, uh, high fly, if you ask me. But whatever. Here we go, Newsom. And oh, what a match up here. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Look at this moveset. Oh, man. Newsom. Oh, man. Newsom got hit good there. And both of these guys are exhausted. Oh, not again. And this time, my buddy Newsom is going to get triple power bombed. Oh, man. Nemesis is getting kind of fun with this milk gang. They didn't get signed on Vita, but they're all on FLH calls in trouble now. But I'm calling them out. I'm going to give him a shot at that tag title at SummerSlam. And I, me and Newsom are going to beat the tar out of them milk boys. That milk is going to be expired at SummerSlam. You can count your cards on that one. You heard it first here. And a look at Mentally Sinister. Beautiful move. Oh, against the barricade. Wait, where's Curious George? I did we did he get knocked out and I didn't even know? Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> I didn't even realize it. <laughs> oh man, really? And here it comes flying noose and oh man. The two cruiserweights. Or left. I guess Curious George did get eliminated. I don't recall it. Who knows with this referee, though. What was Newsom thinking going after that guy? He's not the legal man. And here comes Nemesis. Oh, dear. Look at Newsom. Oh, man, the strength. Nice kick. Looking mentally here. Oh, drops the nemesis on his head. Here comes Newsom Baraffia. Oh, man, Newsom makes, uh, I mean, Nib oh, no, a Nemesis powerbomb now. Oh, no. Ugh. I want to get in that ring and help them out. 
Oh my goodness, Newsom's feeling the pain now. This is ridiculous. When did George get eliminated? That's what I want to know. I never saw it. I never heard it. And I, uh, oh man, that move again. And Newsom's out. Crap. Mentally's the last man standing here. There's three of them and one of... Oh, goodness gracious. This is not good. This team is a dirty, disgusting, vile team. That will do anything. Oh, no, not this finisher. This finisher's deadly. It's one of the most deadly ones I've seen. It's like an instant knockout, too. Oh, my goodness. And Pete wins for the rest of the team. The only reason the Milk Game won is because of Big Ugly Nemesis. That's the only reason they won. They needed his assistance, because come SummerSlam, I'm going to be in that ring. And I'm going to, uh, the, the, the milk game's going to be spoiled at SummerSlam. Yeah, I'm making up uh, 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 milk phrases, I know. Yeah. The cow will be milked at SummerSlam. You can mark your word on that. And uh, Nemesis wins for this milk gang tonight. That's the only reason they won. Big ugly uh, Nemesis. He's the ugliest guy ever. I've never seen someone, someone so ugly with such nice teeth. That usually doesn't go together. But anyway, let's move on. And here she comes, the one, the only, Mad Melissa. And Mad Melissa's here tonight. I don't know if she's going to get a fight or what's going to happen here. I know tonight our main event's going to be Gaia Kane versus Crimson Ninja in a two out of three falls. So that's going to be interesting. And a Hell in a Cell, by the way. Yeah, that's our main event. So it's going to be good. Melissa is here. And here comes Mary. Mary Mackey is here. The one, the only. Former women's champ. Of course, she will be contending in that triple threat at SummerSlam. That's going to be a good match. Her, Esther Jack, and the Mommy Gombi will be facing off at SummerSlam. It's going to be a good one. You know, we got a lot of great matches. It's me and Newsom versus the Milk Gang, Nemesis versus Curious George, Mary Esther Jack, uh, Mommy Gombi, Thanos versus Mr. Black. I mean, and then hopefully we find out who the Decimator is at SummerSlam, because I can't wait for that. There is stuff that you are not telling us, Melissa. Stuff that Mikel is hiding from all of us. The fact that he knows about my personal life. 
The fact that he is writing a book about me and nobody ever told him what happened with me. Nobody knows my story. How does he? I want you to know this, Melissa. I know you want the women's championship, but I want something else. I want the truth. I want you to tell me what Macau is hiding from all of us. I want you to tell me this. I'm challenging you to a match right now. If I win, you tell us all the truth. But if you win, you get to be in a fatal four-way against me, Esther Jack, and the Mommy Gumby at SummerSlam. But if you lose, you better spit it out. Because I know that you know how he knows about my life. Nobody, except for the Crimson Ninja, should know what happened. What happened to me. What I went through. He knows everything. There is That is impossible. The only way he would have known is if Crimson Ninja told him or the Decimator told him. One of the two. And if it's the Decimator, then your friend might not be on the right side. Ooh, so this is interesting. Mary, for a while, she's been like, she, like she's wondering how Macau knows all the stuff about her. It's kind of weird. Like, uh, how he knows everything about her. Um, now, Crimson Ninja, of course, uh, kind of like when Mary went through whatever she went through, he was around. But you got to remember this. Crimson Min Ninja doesn't speak. So he didn't say nothing to Macau. So I, I don't know what's going on here. I, I, <laughs> I'm as lost as you guys of what is going on here. I know Macau is writing a book about Mary. I know the Decimator's pushing this book uh, to editing companies, perhaps. I mean, uh, uh, the Howard Houston Editing Center. I mean, Howard Houston, uh, I mean, his, li uh, his family's lives were put at risk. If he didn't, uh, if he didn't agree to edit, uh, help uh, find an editor for this book, I, I I don't know what is going on here. I I just don't care anymore. I I just I honestly do not care anymore uh, about what is going on. We got three more episodes after this to go, and then we're gonna have SummerSlam, and I don't know what's gonna happen. Look at Mary go. She really wants to know the truth. Who knows if Melissa knows the truth? Just because, you know, Macau and Melissa had a thing at once doesn't mean Melissa knows everything. I mean, Melissa never says nothing. And uh-oh, here comes Mary again. Oh, man. Look at Melissa knee to the head. Oh my goodness. Oh, and a kick out there by Mary. Wow. I don't know if this is two out of three falls as well. It might be. We'll find out. And here comes Melissa misses the uh, the jump. Oh, look at Melissa go, man. Some good moves here tonight against Mary. Of course, Mary hasn't been competing for a while. Uh, she lost her title um, to Denitra. That's who she lost it to. And I believe WrestleMania. We haven't seen her since. And uh-oh. Of course, Mary's one of our greatest women's champions ever ever to uh, uh, fight on the channel. And look at Melissa. She's got a submission move in here. And Mary gets out of it. And look at Mary with the pin. Referee goofing around as usual.
Look at Melissa. Oh, man. Head right into the mat. And Melissa going for the pin here. Can Mad Melissa pull this off? If she does, she goes to SummerSlam. So, there's a lot at stake here. I mean, imagine a fatal four-way between Mary, Melissa, Mommy Gombi, and Esther Jack. That'd be crazy. I don't know if we're going to get it, though. We might get the truth instead. That'd be more... I, I want the truth. That's what I want. And uh-oh, here comes Mary. She's got a finisher. And uh-oh. Oh, look at this. And Melissa gets out of the submission. Wow. Oh, man. Melissa lays her out good there, and she's going crazy. Look at Melissa. Kick to the head. And Melissa going for the pin here. And that's one fall. So it is a two out of three falls match. And oh, look at Mary. Oh, man, what a nice move. Mary going for the pin now. A kick out there by Melissa. And look at Mel uh, Mary keeps on applying the submission to Melissa. And Melissa taps. It's one to one. The next fall wins. Mary's getting the crowd going. And look at Mary here. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, nice move by Mary. Look, oh, nice. Bam. <laughs> nice move. Oh, I love FLH. People love to fight like hell on here. I'm telling you. It's crazy. Some crazy moves tonight. And uh-oh. Oh, man. This is neck first into the rope. What a burning. That is a burning uh, feel you do not want. Oh, kick to the head there. And another kick to the head. And Melissa going for the pin. And Melissa went, so she will be in a fatal four-way match. Wow. <laughs> Melissa wins the match. Congratulations to her. And, uh, wow, a lot going on here tonight. So Melissa has joined SummerSlam with the excellent win against Mary. And she pulls it off. Wow, I didn't I you know, I never thought I saw it coming. The reason why Mary's so good is because Crimson Ninja trained her a lot. And uh, tonight he's gonna be in action as well. And I cannot wait to see what happens there uh, against Gaia Kane who who is a rival, you know, rival ninja. And Crimson Ninja is here. And we are getting our main event, guys. It is going to be a good one. And this will be a Hell in a Cell match. 
And here he comes, the rival of Crimson Ninja, the Yellow Ninja, I mean, my bad, the Golden Ninja, Gaia Kane. Crimson versus the Gold. And Gaia Kane, we don't know a lot about him, we know he's a big founder of the Kai Sune. Uh, of course, the Kai Sune, two of the members of Gaia Kane's squad, got wiped out. Against Jaquan and Willie. Uh, Jaquan and Willie killed them both. But uh, there's still another member. And he's fetching some more for SummerSlam. So we're going to see what happens there. I mean, I don't know what is going to happen. I mean, we're getting negotiations with McCall and the Decimator. I I just don't see how it's going to work out. I, I just don't. The guy at Kane is here. And here we go, Hell in a Cell. It's going to be a good one for sure. No doubt about it. And it's a two out of three falls as well. And uh, Gaia Kane already trying to apply a submission here. And oh man, another hit by Gaia Kane. And oh, Gaia steps on Crimson's hands. And we're going to have a ninja fight. Crimson, oh man, throws Sky Kane into the the cell, and again to the cell, trying to break the cell uh, thing. Oh man, if this gets on top of the cell, you guys know this is gonna get crazy. I'm just warning you guys ahead of time. Oh my goodness, Crimson Ninja pounding on Guy the Kane, Guy Kane, my bad. Oh man, throws Gaia that came through the cell. And we got a fight. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what happened, but it looks like we're having some technical difficulties. Um, just, yeah. What? How did they get up there that quick? That's weird. But anyway, sorry about that, guys. A little bit of technical difficulties. Um, like our computers and stuff went down for a brief second. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, let's continue this match on. Not a lot missed. And we got these two fighting here. As Crimson Ninja and Gaia the Kane continue to battle. And look here. Gaia! Oh, man. Throws Crimson Ninja across the cell. Look at Gaia the Kane. Oh man, what a combination there. Oh man, and a DDT right on the cell. Oh, it could break if they're not careful. Look at this. Oh my goodness. 
in the need of a hand. Oh my god, oh guy, I just fell off the cell. Oh man, Crimson Ninja tosses Gaia Kane off of the Hell in a Cell match. Wow. Oh man, and Gaia. Oh, he's going back up. Oh man. Oh. Wow, he just got tossed off the cell. Holy crap. <laughs> And, oh, Crimson trying to throw him off again. This is personal, man. And these two going back and forth. Any second, someone could fall off of here. This is getting out of control. And, oh, Crimson almost falls off. If you guys are afraid of heights, close your eyes. <laughs> Look at Gaia here. Oh, man. Gaia continues his combinations again on Crimson Ninja. He's been very fierce tonight. Look at these combinations, but... Oh, man. Oh! Crimson's on the edge of the cell. And Gaia, oh man, throws Crimson. And Gaia, oh, is he leaving the, he's leaving the top of the cell. He, he is, I mean, I wouldn't try Crimson on the ground. He could reverse it. Uh, he's trying not to get thrown off that cell again. I don't blame him. That's pretty bad, man. You don't want to get thrown off that cell. It's one thing going through it, but getting thrown off of the cell is even worse, I think, personally. Could you land on that? You land wide open down there, and oh my goodness! And I know it's not the hard; it's a pretty soft floor, but it doesn't matter. The, the the landing's bad, man. It's worse than the mat. I guarantee you that. And look at Gaia Kane. Look at this submission hold. Two out of three falls here tonight, guys. And oh man. Crimson trying to break this hole, man. This is a tough submission. He's got him in. And uh, Crimson fighting for his life here. Can he get out of this hold? As, um, I don't know if he can or not here. Uh-oh, here comes Gaia. Oh, no. And, oh, man, straight directly on Crimson. And look at this submission. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, this is a good one by Gaia, and Gaia gets a tap. So it's one to nothing, Gaia. And Crimson Ninja with a big karate chop. Could that put give Crimson a point? And it does. It's one to one. Next fall wins. Oh man, and Gaia punches Crimson into the cell. One punch knocked him back that far from the ropes.
Yeah, guy is just staring at Crimson. I don't think he's going to go up the cell. He needs to quit being a coward. He got thrown off that cell already. Once you get thrown off that cell, you don't want to go back up on that cell. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's no way he's doing it. You're coming in that ring and fighting him. He got thrown off the cell. That freaks you out, man. I don't care how tough you are. Once you get thrown off of there, it, it changes your life. <laughs> like... And look at Gaia. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going for the knee finisher. And here he goes. And Crimson dodges. Nice dodge there by Crimson Ninja. And another karate chop. Nice. Look at Crimson Ninja go. Look at this. Bam! Crimson Ninja again. Combinations. Bam! And Crimson going for it again, and Gaia caught it that time. I don't know if that was a good decision. Three in a row. Oh, Crimson catches Gaia, though. And look. Oh, man! Nice karate move there by Gaia. And Crimson now, DDT. It's one to one. Tied ball game. And Karate Chop by Crimson Ninja. Oh, and Gaia with another reversal on the finisher. Oh, man. Tons of reversing. Gaia. Oh, man. Another big move. And uh-oh. He's going for that knee shot. Can he connect it this time? Crimson dodges. Karate Chop. Crimson Ninja going for the pin. And look here. Wait a sec. He couldn't do it. Oh, man. He put his feet on the ropes on accident. He couldn't do a dirty pin, though. He's too... He's got too much integrity for that. He, he thought about it, though. But it, that is not in his ninja way. Doing and thinking is different. No matter what they say. People say it's not, but those people are morons. Obviously. And Crimson Ninja. Yeah, Gaia's not going back up there, buddy. He's not risking his life again. He got thrown off that cell already once. And guys, the stare down between the two, and here we go. Oh, man. Crimson with a big uh, hit there on Gaia. And a knee to the head. This is the showdown. One to one. Next fall wins. Again, Gaia with a big uh, reversal. And 
Guy is going to charge with the running knee. Watch this. Oh, misses again. Oh, man. And Crimson. Oh, but clothesline by Gaia. And Crimson's going to try to get a pin out of this. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Nope. And Karate Chop. And Crim Crimson going for the pin here. Can he do it? No. Gaia kicks out. Oh, man. Crimson just delivered a brutal uh, chop there. And it didn't work out for him. But here, look at the combinations. The ninja combination connects. And can Crimson take the win here? And he does. Congratulations to the Crimson Ninja. He has defeated Gaia K. Wow. What a matchup, guys. And now both of these can, guys can settle their differences finally. And go into SummerSlam, hopefully with a clean slate. At least for the night. There won't be any breakout for Crimson Ninja because he does have respect for his opponent. He doesn't need to break out. Wow, what a match. Hello there. It's good to see you again, Mikey. <laughs> oh my god, it, it, it's felt like forever. But I've always been there for you. You know I have. I've always been challenging you, bringing out the best in you. Who do you think sent Power Play? Who do you think sent Guan? Who do you think sent Christian Morris? Who do you think sent X Patient? Who do you think sent Alvo? Who do you think sent the Warlords? All of these years that you have ran this channel, I have brought out the best in you. Oh my god. You look miserable, though. You know, and you've beat them all. All of them. My cousin Christian Maurice, you beat him. And before the channel, you beat my brother Eric. And then you also beat Alvo, x -Patient. Power play, you made him basically a jobber. But there's one person that you can't beat. But I've acknowledged that I as well can't beat you. And I know you don't want blood shed at SummerSlam. And I don't know if I can afford any more blood shed on my end either. So I'm glad you came. Glad to see you again. It's been forever. Like I said, you don't look so hot. You look pretty miserable if you ask me. You've always been miserable. Before that channel, before they even knew you, I knew you as a miserable person. And if it wasn't for them, who knows what would have happened. But they're idiots. And they will turn on you, just like the rest. Everyone. Who? Where is everyone? You see anyone else? I've always been here for you. And yes, I've sent you nothing but death and monsters and uh, uh, vile human beings. But hey, at least I gave you something. I gave you a reason to live. I motivated you to, to make you the best. But I, I'm glad to have you. And... You can enjoy the company as till SummerSlam. I want to watch SummerSlam with you this year. How about that? Oh, you're so scared of me. 
There's nothing to be scared of. Nothing at all. <laughs>